Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be making a dark ethnic drill beat. Since most of you like the vocal one I did recently, I wanted to do another one but focus more on the instruments and actually build in the melody. So hopefully you're gonna like this one too. And if you wanna see anything else, then keep leaving suggestions in the comments because I always go through them before I start recording. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by setting the BPM at about 144. And I wanna use a Koto. I haven't used one in a while. It's a sick instrument and it's perfect for these type of beats. My favorite bank to read it is Koto Nation One or just Ethno World, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen. And I'm not really worrying about scales. I'm just gonna see what sounds good. So yeah, we could start off with something as simple as that. Just copy it over, make a little change. Maybe I add another note here. And then we could copy that across. And then maybe another note here. Just add a tiny bit of variation at the end. Could even chop that note. So I'm just hitting Alt and U. And then I'll bring these up. And now we'll randomize the velocity of everything. And then we just need some bass notes in. I want to keep the tension, so I'm just going to use the B note. And change the velocity of some of these. I need to add some movement to that. I've got half time on. But I don't want it to be all the way up. So about there sounds good. Now before I do anything else, what I actually want to do is render this. Because we all know I like my reverse melodies. So I'm going to see what it sounds like. I'm going to hit reverse here. And I'm just bringing it back on time. But so it's the right way around. I'm going to chop it by bars. And then just reverse these. Maybe I could chop it further though. Let's see what this sounds like. Pitch it up an octave. And then on this one, I'm adding half time again, but I've just got it set to one bar. So I think that sounds better now. It's a bit darker. I'm just gonna add a bit more reverb as well. I know it's already got some on, but I like the sound of it. And I'm also just adding a little bit of chorus, but I'm gonna bring down the mix. And then I want even more movement. So I'm just adding kickstart too. And then we just need an EQ to take out some of the lows and then maybe some of the harsh frequencies too. I think this one needs some textures too, so I'm just gonna lay down the root note. But I'm just gonna filter this one out so it's a bit more subtle. And then the second texture, this is just to take up some of the low end. I'm just gonna add this layer of vocals as well. It's just like a one shot. And then maybe one here. Okay, and I've sent everything to the same insert now, and I'm just adding kickstart. This will just give it a lot more movement. Sounds like it has more energy too. And then maybe under this, what we could do is just add the koto again, but just normal notes now. Just so it's got some kind of switch up. This could work. Or maybe down an octave. I think this one you know. Alright, let's get in the first count of snare. So that's gonna be the main bounce, and I'm just adding a second one for more bounce. So yeah, if you look, these are just like filler notes in between the main ones. So copy that over, and then just let it get a bit more intense at the end. There we go. And I will just pitch that down a bit. I'm actually going to bring those main ones down one as well. I think it sounds a bit better. I feel like it needs something like this psycho one. Just something gritty and distorted. Yeah, 
that sounds hard. I'm just going to tighten it. I think it's a little bit too wide for this one. Maybe I'll get four here, but then these can roll up. Sounds hard. Maybe we bring that one back. Maybe this one too. It's a different bounce. Sounds crazy. Right now, I think it just needs some perks and I can start arranging it. I'm going to add an open hat to this one. I think just one. Then I'm going to take the open hat pattern, copy it into this next perk, but I'll bring these across here. And I think something like this one. And I'm thinking maybe one more. Just a stomp here. And then just have that repeat here. Let's try add some growth speed to that perk repeat. Yeah, I like the way that sounds. All right, cool. I think that's enough drums. Let's start arranging everything. All right, so I've just copied out a few times. I think in the intro, we could just start with this. Oh, let's see if we could bring in the original melody. I could actually work for an intro and then it can just switch up. Just want some kind of like tape stop effect. We'll bring all the drums back for now, but we'll just start introducing stuff. Maybe the first count snare can come in now. You know what? I think it needs a sub bass in this intro. Yeah, just this one note. And then just cut it here. That sounds crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, in this part, I can just start another breakdown. So yeah, just making sort of changes in the eight weight still. Okay, and then in this section, it's gonna be a bit of a bridge, so I'm just gonna bring that sub bass back, and then this core talk will come in. Something needs to happen in the main melody too, so maybe we could add the filter again. We'll also try pitch it down an octave. So yeah, I just need the extra EQ when I'm bringing it down an octave. And then sound shifter only needs to be on here. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So in the intro, this is the only place I kept the original melody. Just thought it would be a sick switch up. So now we've got the reverse one on the sub bass. So it slowly builds up with the count snare. Drum fill. <laughs> Sounding mad. Now we introduce a couple other things. It's like the vocal. So this whole section is the hook. Got the verse. So stuff just slowly builds back up, but not a major change. And more breaks. So I feel like this track just has tons of energy. And then just another little breakdown.
That just keeps it interesting. And now we have a bridge here. And then this is where I added that second part, just for that variation. 